Hey guys, so I made it to both my stops today, which is perfect um, on time to both of them. And uh, I did not run out of hours, although I started out with just over two hours today on my 70 hour clock. So <clears throat> that's great, it's great news. I don't have to waste time tomorrow, but at the same time, because of the low hours, now I'm waiting for a call back from dispatch to go over what we want to do for the week. Um, I only gained like seven hours and some change back tomorrow. I got nothing back uh, today, which kind of sucks and I don't know why, but whatever. Um, I have a lot of hours coming in through the rest of the week. We got like, you know, 11, 8, 10, 12. So it's good for short runs, which I think he might give me some short runs, but then again, we're on spot market, so it all depends on what pays good. So hopefully there are short runs that pay really well that I can, you know, at least make a decent amount for the rest of this week. Maybe without taking a 34-hour reset. Um, if I have to take a 34-hour reset, I don't mind. I do need to get, or I want to get a little bit of work done on the truck. I think I kind of want to replace, like, two tires on the trailer. Um, they're getting a little wonky. They've been wonky, but usually that's not an issue. Um, I've just been getting nervous about it lately and I just I don't want any accidents to happen um, Sorry, they just Entered me if you will <laughs> They're unloading so and Then uh, I do want to get my windshield wipers replaced I'm gonna get some of that uh the good stuff uh, I think it's like Either Goodyear wiper blades or some other wiper blades that are like really really good and I want to get the bigger ones this time so they cover like a wider area on my windshield. Um, <clears throat> what else did I want to do? That's it for the major stuff really. Uh, right now I'm just glad I made it on time all the way from freaking Sandy, Oregon. And right now I am in Al Alden, Illinois. Yeah, right off the 64 at this little nursery place so that's cool but jumping into it I wanted to kind of talk about or just drop a little informational video for the new people out there people who are going to get their CDL or who are seriously on the verge of about to get their CDL um, times are tough so a CDL can really help you uh, if that's the case congratulations on your decision and I'd like to be here to just help you on your way with whatever information I can. So this one is gonna be about, sorry, I got notes down here, so I'm not just staring at like my thighs. Um, this one is gonna be about what to bring to CDL school. So if you don't know already, uh, I went to Swift Academy in Phoenix, Arizona, and I wanna do a video talking about that as well, but for now, we're just gonna stick to what to bring to the academy there's eight things that I have down here that you are most definitely going to need to bring um, it's not that serious so don't freak out I mean let's get into it um, number one which is number eight on here but we'll say number one so personal documents so important stuff they're gonna ask you for it like birth certificate social ID card which you should already have since you were like a kid um, just the three basic little important documents that you need pretty much almost every time you start a new job you're gonna ask for it um, I don't believe every company would ask for a birth certificate that's kind of extreme but it's always nice to have it just in case so I suggest getting a binder at um, you know a little clip-in binder say at Walmart this is like six seven dollars here uh, you got this you can write on it and then it opens up and I got a bunch of stuff so I always I keep my information in here uh, medical cards all that stuff is in here and it stays on the truck with me um, so you definitely want to get a folder as well um, next thing pens and pencils you don't want to be going into the Academy and prepared be like oh I got a where's a pencil like they might offer it but just come with your own show that you're ready you're there and you're ready to go with all the things that you need. Uh, 
pens and pencils pretty basic thing everybody should have them just bring them along bring a few extra just in case and you'll be set to go uh, next is a notepad uh, you're definitely gonna be taking a lot of notes um, I don't suggest I don't think they're gonna they're not gonna let you uh, use like you know your phone or some crap like that I think somebody asked when I went to orientation if they could use their phone or something for notes and I'm like dude come on dude like I don't know people can just be like in their own little world once they get on their phone kind of distracting and everything your focus needs to be like on the information and I do think that writing handwriting stuff um, will give you you know a little bit more power to understand it and retain it much better than using you know electronics to do it so number four now so CDO permit book you should get this it doesn't matter if you're going out of state or whatever have you um, get a CDL permit book before you go and you want to be studying that before you even get to the school so you can kind of have like a leg up and kind of know what they're talking about when you get to class um, it doesn't hurt it's free literally just look up CDL DMV or commercial MVD freaking um in your city or town or whatever get one go pick one up it's free they'll give it to you and you can study it beforehand I do recommend that uh, number five bring at least three to five hundred dollars now when I started I was kind of broke as a joke um, literally came from Dairy Queen so Dairy Queen money if some of you don't know is not the best kind of money but I made it work so um, and I got a few dollars from you know people whatever 20 bucks here and there never hurt so just be like yo can I hold $20 or something if you're really in a pinch be like hey ma can you let me borrow something she'd be like yeah whatever uh, just pay it back I mean you're gonna have it so three to five hundred dollars I think is a decent amount um, I think the schools are different depending on which one you go to typically I want to say they're about three to four weeks in total mine was four weeks so like a month and um, you know you're gonna be hungry you're gonna have food you're gonna need to buy food um and you're gonna want to go somewhere like when you're not in class and you actually have time to do something so um but do not waste it on on bull crap um food only if possible and only the bare necessities if you like if you soiled yourself in class or something and you need a new pair of underwear yes you can use your three to five hundred dollars to go buy some new underwear at Walmart down the street but don't be going to buy like Chanel perfume or like Calvin Klein undies no this money is strictly for mainly just food um, if anything so I think it was a, number six so work where you're going to be in the classroom for the first part of the academy um you might step outside for your break or whatever uh typically they're not going to allow you to wear whatever you want um i don't think they allow shorts so we're talking pants t-shirts and sneakers or boots that's pretty much all you need um once you get out on your own you can wear just about whatever you want within reason but for the Academy we're just gonna stick to work wear um, you can sit in the classroom with it and you can go outside with it that's all they're looking for looking for you to stay safe you're gonna be getting a little bit dirty out there checking the truck learning things on the truck pre-trip and such like that crawling under the trailer everything like that so it's not a fashion show although you know I really wish it kind of was um, it would have been better. I would have felt better, but it is what it is. <sighs> what the hell was that? Number six? Okay, it's seven. Uh, water bottle. If you're going, I went in this in, uh, what was it? March, I believe. Yeah, I went in March. So it was really, really, really cold <laughs> in the mornings. And then as soon as it hit like, what, nine, 10 o'clock, it was like 100 degrees outside. It's a Phoenix, all right? So it got really hot really fast and it stayed hot all day. And it was awful. The instructors had like these like little farmer's hats on and uh, 
I don't know how they can deal with them long sleeve shirts, man. But either you burn or you don't burn and you just sweat. Those are the only options out there. So it depends on when you start the academy. If you want to start in the winter time, um, you know, obviously, yeah, I guess you could have a water bottle, but you're not going to be chugging it down like you would in the summertime. Um, and last but not least is I suggest a personal item. Some people are going to be traveling out of state to go to school. Some people, like me, will be just going up the road. Okay, sorry. I was dealing with dispatch. I'm back. Like I was saying, I went up the road, so like 100 miles up to Phoenix from Tucson is where I went to school. So you can go in state, you can go out of state. But nonetheless, I suggest to just pack something personal. Um, I know some people kind of get homesick a little bit. They miss home, they miss their family. Um, they miss their friends, they miss doing stuff, and you're stuck in a hotel or what have you for like weeks on end. Um, so it can be distressing at times. You can get stressed. It's not, um, it's just a lot of work and a lot, and something very new that you're going to be going through. So a personal item, be it, I mean, I bought a stuffed animal with me when I went there, and I bring stuffed animals everywhere. I just like them. Um, bring a book bring draw something to draw with um a puzzle i don't know a rubik's cube um don't bring a whole xbox or playstation or something stupid big like that you're not gonna have room for it and you're not gonna have time for it i barely even had time to read a book like <laughs> i struggled with sleep because i would stay up and i would like read my book or i would look at like a little cartoon on my phone and you know i just wanted to relax you want to relax when you get out of the class and you've been like in school for like eight ten hours a day you just want to get back to the hotel and relax but you know i can tell you that's not going to be the case who in the hell is calling me hang on guys tom with the auto warranty center whatever and then i hung up i hate that sorry um because i said Oh yeah, there's a... Da, 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 da. I didn't have time. I just did it. I sacrificed a little bit more sleep than I probably should have. Just, you know, winding down and relaxing. Um, sometimes at the end of the day, I would... You know, I had a Walmart, like, literally a mile up the road. So I'd walk there, we get our stuff, walk back. Um, you know, you just want to wind down and relax. But at the same time, it's like... You're probably not going to have time to relax at all, really. Maybe a half an hour to an hour a day if you're pushing it. Um, but even after you get out of class and school for the day, you're going to want to go back and you're going to want to study and practice even more as much as possible because it is that important in order for you to pass your tests and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, I think that pretty much covers, like, the most important things, at least from my perspective that you would need to bring to the academy um, so that you can be on your P's and Q's in order for you to um, be sufficient in what you bring um, and what you're gonna take on your trainer's truck because from there you're going to your trainer's truck so you don't need to bring a whole bunch of stuff only the basics the bare minimum um, is what you want and you should be a-okay to go straight onto your trainer's truck also, um, what you pack your stuff in is important too. So don't bring, uh, strongly, strongly advise against a hard suitcase. Do not bring a hard suitcase, whatever you do. Go to Ross, uh, Dee Dee's Discount, maybe Burlington Co. Factory, whatever. One of the discount stores, but I prefer Ross. Ross is super cheap. I like Ross. Um, and go in the luggage section and look for a... A duffel bag on wheels is the best way I can put it. I have one. It's at home. Now I bring a hard suitcase. It can fit under my bed and it's just a little bit better. Um, the other one looks like crap and it's I'm scared that one day my clothes are just going to fall out all over the place. And I really don't need that. Neither do you. So get a, uh, get a rolling duffel bag or at least a big, big duffel bag that you can carry. Um, I'd say... Everything packed into it, you should probably be weighing around like, let's keep it under 50 pounds. Um, 
50 40 pounds and then probably a backpack as well so keep all your important info uh your paperwork um anything that like breaks easily or stuff like that in the backpack um so you can have it with you on you and then put your clothes and whatever other stuff you need um into the duffel bag is how i like to do it uh work for me and it'll definitely work for you so i hope you guys got something out of this um, and I hope if you're just starting school or you're looking into it, that this helps you out a little bit in what you bring. So, right. If you liked it, like it, subscribe if you like the content. I'm going to try and bring you guys a little bit more informational videos. I know I've been struggling with that. I guess I've just been a little bit nervous to, I guess try and put it into words. I don't want to sound like everybody else on here. Like, you know how many videos people put out? for newbies talking about the same stuff so i don't know but it's what i got i'm not like a magician out here i just can't pull crap out of my butt um it's what i got and i hope it works for you so yeah comment down below if you have any tips for anybody else tell me what you brought or if you think that my list could use some work um i'm down for it all so i hope you guys have a great day and i'll catch you guys later bye